Hello YouTube, I'm El Worfi and today we're going to be taking a look at this new amazing tank that we got. It's wonderful. I mean, look at it. It's going to be it's going to be beautiful when it has that nice the nice red coat on it. And you guys should recognize this tank actually here. Let me go to the back. See? It's a predator tank. Now this predator tank is a little bit different than the predator tanks that were uh that you've been seeing before from my army. And you'll, know, you'll notice that this predator tank is certainly different because, well, it's not a ball predator. Ball predators are what I've been using to play the uh, in the game. Look at that amazing, amazing image. The ball predator tank is essentially a close combat uh, vehicle, as you've you guys have seen. Uh, but this tank, this tank right here, this is more of a uh, as you can see, we're going to be putting some of those missiles on it. We're going to, we're actually going to build this tank exactly like the picture is. We're going to put four las cannons on it. And uh, while it's not a land raider, and I'll admit I did think about getting a land raider, I decided that for the points, in order to maximize my troop usage, uh, since apparently with my list, I think I'm probably going to be cutting down on the death company. Bit of a shame, but unless I knew I was facing a horde army. I really need to cut some models to put in. I want to put this guy in, and we need to get those Terminators, get the Terminators back into the battle because, uh, well, the Predator tank is uh, going to be useful. I need more armor, and I need, um, well, essentially, I I'm going to need more heavy, heavy support weaponry, essentially, right? So I'm going to go ahead and now, forgive me, I do have my knife, but I have one hand right now because I, I don't have a. Access to a good place, like a good table to use right now. So we're just going to open this up. Uh, honestly, right, um, right here on the floor. So uh, bear that in mind as I as I will now begin to cut open the uh, the box. We're going to go ahead and uh, start cutting it away. To just so we can uh, we can pull it. Oh, there we go. Let's flip it around. And I always like to hang on to these boxes, too. I find it very enjoyable. Okay. Should be able to tear it open with one hand now. It's not like it's a very tough plastic. I just, you know, with one hand I want to be able to make sure where I'm going to be able to, to open it all up with one hand. And I did um, try and plan for this a little bit before I, I went ahead and did that. Not uh, not that bad. Not that bad if I do uh, do say so myself. All right, so um, I'm just gonna nah, we can we can leave the knife out. It's fine. It's not going anywhere. Not gonna hurt anyone. All right, the tank. Now here's a picture of that with a little bit better quality because the film wrap is off, so you can take another look at that. Now that's an ultramarine tank. We're not gonna build that. That's uh, that's horrifying. We'll never build a ultramarine tank. We're gonna try and open this box up with one hand. Hey, look at that. We did it. So that's what it what it uh what it will look like. Here's what it's actually going to look like. Well, it, this looks actually pretty similar. So here's the guy who's going to be sitting on top with the storm bolter. May or may not make him. Not sure yet. Not sure. Here's the first sprue as expected with the main body of the tank and I'm going to try making making this guy a little bit differently. I'm going to not spray paint it. Well, I might, but I'm going to pretty much uh, try and build it first because the paint, like I'm going to clip them all out before I spray it, I think. Okay, so there's two. Oh, there's three. Oh, they've changed things a bit. Well, look, because this already has the last cannons on it, which, yes, we're using the last cannons all the way through. We're not going with the... Um, the the auto gun. Unless I... No, yeah. We're just going to do las cannons. For all fours. We're going to be using those things as well. Of course, they give us the, the decals, but uh, we're not going to need these because I don't really put decals on my on mine. Here's the uh, picture of what you can what you can do with them. Technically, you technically we can make a, a whir whirlwind. We're not going to do that, though. We're making this guy. Okay, it's much better. I'm even going to look in the instructions. Show them off. So I do know how to build these tanks now. I don't actually need these. 
instructions, but I'll probably follow them for the sake of making everything right. The cool part is uh, choosing whether or not you're going to build the auto gun or you're going to build the uh, two LAS cannons. So that's the traditional way of doing it to make a, to make it. And I'm not sure, uh, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to have to double check, but I'm pretty sure we're actually going to make it like like the picture. See, so we have all these sprues and stuff, which is great. Which is great. But if you take a look at this, he's got LAS cannons on all sides. And I, based on what I've seen in the game, I think I'm going to go with the las cannons just four las cannon shots on a tank pretty solid again this tank here to just kill enemy tanks so we need as much firepower as possible i like the way the las cannons perform and i think it's going to do very well uh so we're going to go ahead and uh, build it like that and i guess uh i'll just cut to when i decide to um uh want to go ahead and decide to spray paint because you guys seem to really enjoy that when I show you guys the spray painting of the models. Uh, but I will probably be cutting them all out first. And I'm not going to make you watch me cut it all out. So, this is going to be the newest addition to our uh, 40k army. Didn't actually expect to be buying more models. But when you when you go to fight and you find out your army is uh, lacking an anti-tank, you uh, have to make certain sacrifices. And uh, just for the record, just so you know, I paid $75 for this tank. Because uh, when I went to go buy it in, in the store for about $50, it was, uh, it was sold out. So, tanks. these tanks are good, apparently. I waited about two weeks for these. Uh, obviously, you won't. It'll be a while. You, eh, time isn't really a big issue uh, with seeing these videos. But yeah, so anyway, guys, sorry sorry about that little rambling and, and such. But I'll see you guys when, uh, well, I, I guess when I, I get the next step done. All right, so now it's on to the spray painting once again. Well, I guess this is technically a different paint than I'm, I used to use, but I'm using Krylon Max cover. Um, again, since it's just going to be a red tank, we can just use red. And uh, remember, we're going to highlight with black, so let's uh, shake the paint. We're going um, to end up spraying a fair amount. As you can see from the, the tip, I've already used it. I've used this can a bit. This is my, uh, my heavier can, though. It has, there's more, more in it. I can feel the weight. Uh, so we have we have all of our our stuff laid out as, as usual as you as you guys know and uh, We're just gonna go ahead and start spraying the first side and then obviously it's got to dry before I can buy You know flip it over and I find that uh, doing it on a cardboard is a little bit better uh, mainly because of the fact that um, The paper could get stuck to it. So we're actually gonna we're Actually gonna come over here, and I'm gonna Real quick. I'm just gonna move some of this paper out of the way get some more cardboard just so that way we make sure that the paper's more there to keep the cement of my garage from um, getting all red. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess I'll try and lay it down as evenly as possible for the coat. Obviously, again, not all the pieces are going to be used, but I want to spray everything just in case for whatever reason my, uh, my decision comes to change, well, any of this at all. So let's go ahead and uh, get to work on spraying some stuff. Oh, that's the direction it is. A little bit of a test spray. Nothing, uh, nothing wrong with that. It's gonna, we're gonna spray down every single thing, even if we're not necessarily using it. Seems to be a little more, not as well grounded into the uh, everything as we'd like. Let's let's do a light coat first, spraying over one half. Again, we're gonna have to move around, as as you guys probably re remember. We're gonna get some red spray paint around. Man, I love the I love the smell of fresh paint. I like the way it, it smells on the model. Maybe that's kind of weird, but I know just it's it's a smell of progress. Plus, we have a we have a Blood Angels army to make, so it's very important that we make sure all of our equipment is is red. Let me get up for a moment. I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna spray. Make sure we get all of the pieces this time, because once there's a point when I forgot to spray some stuff and went for one of my models, and that was really bad. I'm gonna spray at uh, different angles, of course. We want to make sure all of the pieces get well sprayed uh, fairly evenly, especially since we're gonna keep, keep shaking the bottle, of course. Spray down everything that that you can, getting all the cracks and. Uh, 
While I am going to show you as much of the spray paint as possible, it is completely also viable that I won't be able to show you everything because I might find some uh, touch-up details I'll have to do, which won't always be the most, most enjoyable part of this, but, you know, we're just spraying paint. Okay, let's uh, get up and move around to this side. Okay. You know, the first time I did one of these spray painting ones, I thought about wearing a gas mask. And funny enough, I decided that a gas mask probably was a little bit overkill. Uh, the spray paint generally is not going to do anything too uh, too horrible to your to your body. If you're uh, doing using the right safe material, again, well, I'm not going to show you. you. You know, the... the, the the type of paint you use. Make sure it's not too toxic. While, uh, I mean, don't ingest it, of course. Ingesting the paint would be a pretty horrible idea. But if, you, if you're careful, generally, you can uh, make sure everything's sprayed down fairly well. As you can see, we got a pretty nice coat. Now, remember, we don't necessarily need everything because there is the sprue part. We don't need to worry about the sprues. We just want to make sure that the um, the main details get sprayed. We're gonna I'm gonna stand up a bit and uh, take a look at these. I think we did a fairly good job of uh, making sure it all it all works out. We walk over to this side again, just kind of examining it. Don't want to waste the spray paint because buying this stuff was a pain. <clears throat> but it looks. I mean, it looks fairly good. I'm gonna spray in there a bit. Um, again, now I'm just doing more of more of touch up than uh, anything else. Again, we want to make sure that that's nice and red. Spray that down. Spray down the little things. Oh, especially the bits. The bits are critical for making sure they're all red. But it looks like we did a pretty good job. Oh, let's get those wheels. Make sure the wheels are red. Yeah, they look red to me. Okay, uh, I guess I'll come back when the uh, spray paint is ready to be flipped over and we'll do the other side. All right, so uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a better, we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at uh, the results of our, of our masterful spray painting before we move on to the next set. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over all the pieces so you can see if there's anything I might need to touch up on in the future. Now I can see there's some different faded spots on the bases or the sections where there's a lot of big flat surfaces. That's pretty common. So I'm not too worried about those necessarily, but it's more of the, the little details that I'm gonna have to do later on is really the main concern here. And as, when we flip these guys over, there will of course be um, some, some red that bleeds through. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, flip these things over. Got my spray can right there, and we're going to see how these guys turn out. Now, if they're tough to pull up for whatever reason like this, just want to be a little gentle, you know? Want to be a little gentle. Flip them directly over. Feel, feel your pieces. Make sure there's not paint coming off on your fingers. If there is, wait longer. Nothing wrong with that. Like, you're, you're rubbing that, nothing coming off. You felt that? That means there's paint on the other side. Paint bleeds through. Now the tough part is going to be when we take this paint. Now, keep in mind, we're, I'm going to definitely be with a paint brush painting over all of this, right? So these guys with all the little sprues, pick them up, flip it over. Again, we're, you pick it up and you flip it over, being aware that, you know, it'll happen. Now, see how there's like those crevices? They don't necessarily need to get painted, but. Nothing wrong with that, because you don't know what your opponent might notice if your opponent happens to examine your model, which I am not going to shy away from. I think everyone should get to examine another person's model as closely as they want to. And to be honest with you guys, uh, I think it's very good to look at other people's models and take a lot of pictures and videos. I mean, heck, you saw in the uh, in the battle report uh, against that, that guy... Uh, who I played against in that game group, even though he took me down, you know, I still filmed his, his models and stuff, and it really inspired some of my, the ideas I have for my Blood Angels, if I ever decide to get Primaris Marines, but let's be real here. Uh, well, actually, you know what, I'll save it for another time. I'm going to talk about Primaris Space Marines later. For now, we're just going to do some spray painting. 
and it's gonna be great. Oh, angle it a little bit, make it make sure it's, it's all good. Now this is gonna be a, a little more important because we're looking at different details now. Like for example, this thing in here, it's not required that we paint that all the way, but it's, it, it's, it's good to get in the habit of like, accepting that everything kind of has to be painted. It's kind of an important one. Now I have more spray paint. If for whatever reason, it, things don't come out quite as nice. So see, we don't have to paint the inside of that. I'm not actually going to paint the inside of that. Don't need to paint the inside. This is the inside. We don't need to paint that. Should probably paint that since we don't know what, uh, what we're going to see there. These treads ought to be painted. They're going to have a, a black painted over them, but it's always good. And don't do that. That's going to be glued on. That's glued on. I kind of know tanks a bit more. Like, I don't need to paint the inside of that. Technically, I didn't even need to paint the inside of that, but, you know, you do what you got to do. i um, going to just spray that down, that, that, that board. That's kind of important. Of course, again, always get those treads. Treads are very important to have sprayed down. This is the inside of all the weapons and stuff. Oh, that's a door. Let's uh, let's spray that a bit. Uh, sure, let's spray that. Uh, we'll spray this item also. Really, really running out here, running out of stuff. That's why I'm also being a little conservative with how I paint. All this needs to get spray painted because this is all going to be visible. This is the character. This is the gunner. This is the guy who's going to call the shots. Really make sure these gun barrels are sprayed down. Don't want any question about the quality of the gun barrel. We're really running out of out of red, which is not the best. But I think our army will survive if I have to go over things in de with detailing. And again, we're focusing on the things that I've painted red. Not necessarily going to get upset if we run out of spray paint. I'm going to have another can, which I'll happily go get in the event that I, I feel we need more spray paint. And then, and then here's the thing. So once everything that I know needs to be red is spray painted, then I'll go ahead and paint everything else, just so that way, again, you get a base coat. Having the base coat of spray paint is a lot, is really nice to have. Like for example, this, this giant piece, oh, looks like we're running out. Oh, no, 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 no. If you angle a spray paint wrong, it will, um, well, it's not as good. Uh, it's very easy for the paint to not come out and deceive you about how much paint you actually have. So you always want to make sure you're, you're being honest with yourself about the angle that you're spraying the, the spray paint on. And now we're, we're totally fine to go ahead and spray the inside. It's also a good protective layer just uh, to prevent it from scratching up if for whatever reason you feel like, hey, maybe I need more paint or uh, hey, maybe, maybe something didn't come out perfectly. Really get these detailed ones though. The detailed ones are going to be what you're looking for the most. That noise in the background, that's uh, ice melting because my fridge is currently going through a, a de-icy. Well, not my fridge, my freezer, but you know what I mean. Fridge, freezer, same, same stuff. All fine either way. So yep, just going over the other side in red. Because we are the Blood Angels and Blood Angels love this color more than any other color because we're the space vampires, but I don't really like the idea of us being vampires, considering we are incredibly loyal to the ideas of the Imperium. Da -da -da. Really just spray painting everything. Get a nice general coat, you know, just to give that, that extra depth. And then it looks like we're going to be um, about done with that, which is good. And I think uh, this came out pretty well. If I do say so myself. Obviously, those big guns, we're not probably going to use them. Since we are going to be using the LAS cannons. As well as the side Sponson LAS cannons. And uh, I'd say this is, uh, this is looking pretty good. So, oh, hold on. Let me just get some... A little more sprayage on that. Felt like that was... And this thing, you just touch up. Just touch up on things you, you think are... Need a little more gray. Like those doors. Okay, we're really, we're out, we're out. We're out, uh, this can's empty. But it's good, because we were able to cover everything. The other side was more important too, because that was more of the out ex exterior colors. And of course we have a red paintbrush that we'll use to paint that. So, uh, now it's time for us to let this dry. 
And uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna call it for this video. I'm gonna say this was uh, pretty successful. I uh, hope you guys liked this unboxing slash spray painting video. As always, I'm El Worfi, and I'll see you guys next time.